All right, let's talk about checkboxes. In this lecture, we're going to learn how to make a checkbox and how we can use it for a dashboard. The checkbox turns off or on a value that indicates an opposite and unambiguous choice. When a checkbox is selected, it returns a value of true. When it isn't selected, false is returned. Checkboxes are one of the simplest yet effective form controls to use in a dashboard, so let's get started. In this worksheet, you can see a table with three columns, months, sales for the year 2020, and sales for the year 2019. On your right, there is a column chart showing each month with the sales for the year 2020. First of all, go to the Developer tab. Now from the Insert button, find the checkbox and click on it. Draw it somewhere here on the top right side of the chart. Change the name of the checkbox to show 2019 sales. The second step is to format it. So right click and select Format Control. As you can see there are six tabs in this dialog box. You can change the fill color, the line color, the size of the checkbox, etc. Leave it as it is for right now. From Control tab, we can see some control properties. Under Value, you have the initial state of the checkbox. We want to display a clear checkbox, so click Unchecked. Now from the Cell link, you will enter a cell reference that contains the current state of the checkbox. Highlight A1 cell and check 3D shading also. Press OK. When the checkbox is selected, the linked cell returns a true value. When the checkbox is cleared, the linked cell returns a false value. When the linked cell is empty, Excel interprets the checkbox state as false. We can use that information to control the data that will display in our table. Now I will copy the cells from 2019 sales and paste them here starting from D17. This is the analysis layer or the staging table. The chart will read the 2019 tread line from these cells. Delete the values and start typing. For the 2019 sales, test the value of the A1 cell, the cell that contains the output from the checkbox. If A1 reads true, you reference the respective 2019 cell in the raw data. If A1 doesn't read true, the formula uses Excel's NA function to return an NA error. Excel charts can't read a cell with an NA error. Therefore, they simply don't show the data series for any cell that contains NA. This is ideal when you don't want to have a data series to be shown at all. Notice that a formula uses an absolute reference with A1 cell. That is, the reference to cell A1 in the formula is prefixed with a dollar sign. This ensures that the column references in the formulas don't shift when they're copied across. The last step is to add this data set to the chart. So right click on the chart, select Data, and add a new series. As series name highlights the cell D17. As series values, highlight the cells from D18 to D29. Press OK and OK again. The columns from 2019 sales show up. From the Chart Design tab, click the Change Chart Type button. Select a combo box. And for 2019 sales, select a line chart. Press OK. If the checkbox is true, then the line chart of 2019 sales appears in the chart. Otherwise, the chart shows only the 2020 sales. You can apply this technique to as many checkboxes as you need. The technique is simple, and it's been used a lot in dashboards. Some other ideas that you can move the chart over and table if you want to hide data, or you can change the font color of A1 to white if you don't want the others to see it.
I hope you found this lecture helpful. If you have questions, please leave a comment and I'll answer as soon as I can. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about Excel dashboards, check out my Udemy Dashboard Masterclass course. Don't forget to subscribe to get updates, and I'll see you in the next video.